this clip, we're going to talk about null objects. So what is a null object? A null object is another type of layer inside of After Effects. But this type of layer has no color values or no render values. But it does have other properties like transforms, scale, opacity. So what is it? Well, it's basically a control. And there is no right or wrong way of using it. It will depend on what you want to do. In order to demonstrate what a null object is or what it can do, we're going to look at three different compositions. In this composition, I have a simple character. So if I wanted to animate this guy, if I select my puppet pin tool, you'll see that I have some pins already made. So if I wanted to make changes and start animating this guy, make a, I'll make a pin on the left hand. I can start animating this by adding keyframes. But if somehow I accidentally select a different type of element in my composition or grab a different tool, I will always have to go back to the Puppet Pin tool and then grabbing that pin and making the changes that I want. If I wanted to make something more simple or something that I can visualize, this would be the perfect example to make a null object. So I can go to Layer, New, Null Object, and you can see that Control, Alt, Shift, and Y is the keyboard shortcut. So if I select that, a null object appears in the center of my screen. I'll zoom in. If I grab this and move this around, I'm going to turn off the snapping option. Nothing happens, nothing changes. The null object does have its transform values, such as anchor point, and these position, scale, rotation. And you can change these, and you'll see some sort of change within your visual representation of the null object. But once you render this, nothing will change. Nothing will be added to your composition other than what you already had. The null object is not controlling anything. I'm going to undo all those things and place my null object close to where the hand is located. I'm going to grab the null object and press P on my keyboard to only see the position value. I'm going to come to the character composition, select the puppet pin tool, find that pin. So this pin has a position value and as long as there's a stopwatch that means that we could either animate this or add some type of expression to drive these values and make changes without us having to do certain things. So for example, this value has a little spiral to it on the right side. And that means that you can grab this and stretch it out. And I'm going to grab it and select the position from the null object. So now if I grab my null object and I make any changes to it, the hand will follow it. And that doesn't mean that the hand is following the null object. But what's following the null object is the puppet pin tool on that last pin we made. Now before starting the video, I went ahead and I made other null objects for the other parts of the body. And as you can see, as soon as I turn on the visibility, we are able to see them. 
but if we render this image or this clip there's a 10 second clip here nothing will happen we will have a 10 second video of the same image as it is there is no animations yet so if i grab a null object and i start making it changes i can simply select p on my position and either make a keyframe or add an expression. I'm going to add an expression value 5, 100. So now that hand moves by itself. And now if we render this out, the hand moves, but although there is all these null objects on top of it, they won't be rendered, no, nothing. These red little boxes are just visual representations for you to see where the object is. And because that puppet pin tool is only being driven by the position value, if I make any changes to any of the other values, nothing happens. But that is a way of making quick puppets or quick cartoon rigs and that's actually how a lot of scripts make uh, rigs so as you can see the controls for this character would all be null objects and that's how we would end up animating this we're going to move on to this other composition and in here we have a video of an airplane sort of on a takeoff. And the power of a null object not only works with 2D objects, but it can also control 3D values. So in this composition, we have an airplane which is an actual 3D model which is being rendered by a plugin called element 3d and the 3d object is being controlled by a null object and this null object has different properties such as a position scale and so on orientation rotation and if we make any changes to this the changes happen in the model itself the null object is controlling overall the same values of the 3D model. So if the orientation, rotation, and then some of these values were I used to give this sort of takeoff look of the clip. So at first, the plane is pointing someone up, and then as someone gets leveled with the plane or with the clouds, the rotation changes. And this null object that is controlling the values of the plane is being driven by a second null object that if I make any changes to any of these values it also happens the scale the difference is that this second null object has its own uh, values such as an anchor point when we scale this up or if we rotate this you'll see that the rotation happens in a different anchor point or in a different zero point um, position and that is because it this null object is located in a different position and the reason why I did that was because I was I only wanted to change certain values and in that and that was the values of the Y properties which make the plane go slightly up and down 
kind of simulating some sort of turbulence. So as you can see here, I am using two different null objects to achieve a certain movement that I wanted from the plane. In this composition, I wanted to show how we can control lights with a null object. And we have a simple uh, point light with a 3D layer and it's being driven by a null object. And this null object has a wiggle expression under its position values. So it's bouncing around on the X and Y axes. However, unlike our first, unlike our second composition where our null objects are also 3D null objects, in our third composition, the null object that we are using is not a 3D null object, but it is controlling a 3D object, which is a light. And that is simply being parented to the null object. But because this val because the values go from X, Y, and Z, when it comes to Z, which would push the light forward or backward, as you can see forward, um, the wall or the 3D plane lights up more, and if I pull it back, it doesn't. Well, that value doesn't change because the null doesn't have that value. But if I make this a 3D layer and make some changes here, make this slightly faster, you'll see how not only is it moving in the, now, now the light is not only moving in the X and Y axes, but it's also inheriting the Z axis from the null object. And if I undo all that, the light now looks flat again. So as you can see, there's no right or wrong way to use a null object or why you want to use it, um, or there's no specific reason on why you would want to use a null object. It's a simple control that could drive any properties or values that you want. Well, I hope this helps you understand more what null objects are and how to use them. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. I'll see you guys in the next one.